Now, today is a little bit different because I'm not at home. I scheduled this. I have a, a meeting this morning um, and I'm scheduled to do a little um, presentation um, for Southern California Black Chamber as well. But I welcome you, everyone that's joining me right now on my live stream. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to start off by addressing the questions that were um, sent to me. I have some that were sent um, through Facebook and Instagram uh, DM. It's going to be a little bit weird because I'm live, but wait, hold on, I got to go. Okay, I'm glad I let you guys have a little heads up that I'm not at home. <laughs> so it's a little bit different this morning. <laughs> okay, another a chamber member. So see, so you know that I'm not I'm not lying to you. So um I'm just gonna give a little bit time for maybe some others to join. Welcome, welcome, or aquaba tweet. Aquava. So um, I just want to give you um, a little bit of information this morning. It's funny how this post, uh, we, my husband and I, we can't understand how this post made people so upset, how it was controversial to talk about uh, free land opportunities in Ghana. Um, but we're not going to get into that. Um, I'm going to start off by at, uh, answering some of the questions that were sent to me. So um, the first question that uh, was asked by one of the subscribers has to do with outright sale and full ownership. Okay. So what they're asking is, do you just have full outright uh, ownership? How it goes in um, Ghana, from what my understanding is of um, the Pan-African project in a Cebu village, uh, and really when you're purchasing the land in Ghana, uh, that's where some of my uh, tips this morning are going to also be for if you wish to purchase land in Ghana, because there's lots of opportunity to do so. However, there are some tips that will help you navigate that. Okay. And so, um, yeah. So the first question has to do with outright owning. So how it goes, you're usually given a 50 year lease without citizenship or 99 years with citizenship. And so all of that is cleared through the lands uh, commission in Ghana. Is how, is how it's done. And um, I know a lot of people, I know when I first heard that, I was like, oh, only 50 years, and then what happens? Do they come back? Do they come back and do they take uh, the land? No, it, it's not like that. Uh, you have to, it's a different system from what we're used to in America, but um, it's not a system um, it, it, you have to you have to uh, learn about it and understand it. But back on the free land, it's the same. You'll either receive a 50 year lease or if you because hopefully you would want to move towards citizenship if you are acquiring land and you're living in that uh, country. I know I do. And um, part of my journey um, will be as soon as the borders open up, we will go to a Cebu village because a Cebu village is not too far from Cape Coast and that area. Um, and it's really a, a, a beautiful uh, area. It's uh, uh, Cape Coast's uh, ocean, ocean um, community and um, really quite lovely. Uh, Cape Coast, Elmina, all those places. So the, the next question they ask about location, location. So yes, it is true, location. Um, and in the case of the free land though, it's in a Cebu village, okay? So it's part of, um, and like I said, a Cebu village, I believe is about 15 
15 minutes from uh, Cape Coast. So um, the next question that was asked is, do the plot sizes vary? Uh, do, uh, how are they allocated? Uh, large garden. Okay, so what takes place is that it depends on your need. Uh, the, the um, hold on one second. I'm so sorry. I'm, I told you it was going to be weird. I have to answer this door. I'm coming. Just wait. Okay, I think I picked a location where I'm going to be up and down. So thank you for that. I'm glad. I'm so glad I warned you up front. Okay, so um, back to what I was saying. The plot sizes um, are really going to depend on your needs, what you want. I know that uh, at first it was 80 by, I think 80 by 100 or 80 by 80. It switched up. And so that 80 by 80, uh, you would pay $700 to survey your land to uh, the lands commission. So that's not a fee that you're paying to the chief, which I'll get into more, but it's a fee where you're surveying your land. So um, yes, so the, um, the plot sizes vary on your needs. So if you are saying that I have this great grand uh, project that I want to build, I want to do this, I want to do that, then you are telling the chief this, okay? And the chief will grant or provide based on your needs. But say, if you are requesting, say, a couple of acres, you're going to pay more to survey. That's just like here uh, in the United States, you're going to pay more for that, uh, to survey that land. And like I said, I, um, I'm having, I'm going through that right now with some land that's uh, in the South that was uh, property um, passed on to uh, my mom. But that's a different story. Uh, what we're talking about now is a Cebu village and that free land that's available. And uh, if you haven't traveled to Ghana or any African country, it may be a good idea to do that prior to doing this, although you're free to do whatever it is that makes you happy. I'm not one to tell people what, what to do. But um, I know in 2010, when I first traveled to the continent, I had a, you know, of course, a culture shock, but I grew to really, really love Ghana. And at this point, I'm blessed. I've traveled to over 14 countries um, on the continent. And uh, that's why I always tag in my comment and I say, Africa is paradise because it is. Don't die before you go to paradise. Africa is paradise on earth, okay? So you really, 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 really must go. So my husband and I, we connect with uh, Ghana. And so I can't wait to take you on that journey with me to acquire the free land, uh, because I know that it's true. A lot of people are saying, oh, the, it's a scam and, you know, look, you have to vet everything. That's one thing I know in this life, you have to vet everything. And I'll tell you this, uh, a lot of the people who are a part of the Pan-African Village Project, I know some of them. And uh, it's quite a few American expats who are on the um, uh, committee for putting this together. And so they put a lot of time, effort, and energy into creating this. And this actually started last year in the year of return. Uh, Ghana had a successful last year, which I was happy to participate in that as well. The year of return generated um, cash flow uh, in Ghana. 
a lot of people uh, from America, from uh, Britain, from the Caribbean, from all over were there. And this is for all black people in the diaspora, not just for African Americans. It's for every, every, if you have lineage that ties you to the motherland, because that's something else I explained in my last uh, video that um, through uh, Ancestry.com, I use that one to determine what countries I, um, where my ancestors were. So anyways, I, I'm not gonna ramble on too much to respect your time. Thank you for joining me. Um, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And the next question that comes from um, a subscriber uh, is uh, what are the minimum residence requirements? So uh, a stable village, uh, they're asking, I've seen a couple of things. Um, I've seen where it's a 30 day program. I've seen um, two weeks and uh, someone was asking uh, about $2,500 to uh, participate. Uh, I don't know about all of that because, like I said, um, I was scheduled to go back in June, and uh, because the borders closed, we were not able to go, just like most people. So we were headed uh, there, but hopefully once the borders open, I'll be able to give you more information on that. But um, yes, it's a well-put-together program. I would say that if you uh, have never gone you will be happy with um, participating in this. I think it's very mindful of what our experience has been as African Americans. And I think that it would greatly benefit you if you have not traveled to uh, an African country. I, I know that it would. it would, it would greatly benefit you. I actually wish that um, when I first traveled in 2010, with my husband and my children, if we had had this type of uh, program, wow, it would have been awesome. But what a wonderful feeling it is to be a part of changing that narrative right now to tell people about uh, Africa and so forth and to open our eyes to um, new opportunities because whether people want to acknowledge it or not, Africa is rising. It's rising. So I would say grab onto the coattails and rise with it right now. So the next thing um, that was asked was land scams. So yes, land scams do abound, uh, in, but I'm gonna give you some tips um, after I answer um, these six questions that um, this, uh, my subscriber asked. Um, it says, uh, what provides, what documents. So what takes place um, when you purchase this land, I'm getting a little, when you purchase this land, um, you are provided, because the plots have already been divided and uh, site plan process, you'll be given location papers. And these location papers will show that the chief has signed and stamped by the local uh, traditional council. So you will receive uh, paperwork, okay, from uh, the powers that be. It's not where you're going to pay and not receive anything uh, from them. But it's a lot, it takes, I understand people's questioning. If you've never gone, then you don't know. And you should, you should ask questions. You should not just, um, give money and, and say, here, here's this, uh, because it is your money. But um, from, I like I said, I know some of the American expats who are on the commission where they developed this. And also His Excellency um, Nana Adio, the, oh, I could always mess up his, his name, but the president of Ghana strongly supports this program. This was his baby, the year of return, his baby, where he really, really, really um, wanted to connect with uh, Black people around the world and to call them home, to call them to return. And from what I know, he 
and there may be other presidents, but um, I think it's Chief, uh, I'm looking for his name so I can say it correct, Chief uh, Okatechi the seventh and uh, the president of Ghana apologized for what took place, apologized for the chief, chief's role in sending us into slavery, into bondage. So it's quite um, beautiful. When I went to the year of return, it was, it was quite lovely. I think I put up a video about that too, showing a little snippet of it, but it, it was just quite, quite beautiful. But number six, this is the last um, question before I get into some tips. And feel free, if you have questions as I'm uh, going along to ask, I'll just answer quite honestly. If I don't know, I'll tell you I don't know. And if I need to find out, I'll find out for you. But welcome, welcome. So um, how loose or stringent are building codes uh, are property owners able to build using earth and other traditional building materials? So yes, you'll find that in uh, Ghana, they use environmentally friendly building materials. And um, as far as building codes, that's something that, um, especially for uh, Sable Village, you will discuss with the chief your needs what you plan to build. Because when you're coming, you're coming to collaborate and to build and to create in the community. That's what you're coming to do. And it's it's a great thing. You'll be able to create and build and grow. And that's what you want. And the, the land is a gift, but you will have to uh, pay to survey the land, just like you pay here. And if you ask for um, a certain amount of acreage, you're gonna need to pay accordingly to survey that land because the chief is not going to give you free land, buy you, give you, you know, survey and so forth. Um, some people, they don't understand about that, but it's, but it's okay. Um, so these are some of my tips and I'll give about maybe, um, it's about 12 or so. So number one, uh, and this has to do with um, purchasing land and also uh, accepting free land, but I've covered a lot of that except for one point when I start to talk about glamacy. Uh, that will apply to uh, free land and some of this will apply to free land. So um, tip number one, when you're seeking to buy land in Africa, do not make purchases without seeing the land after a heavy rain. Um, are there water logs or marsh or runoff during the rain, rainy season? The rainy season is no joke. It's not, um, <laughs> you know, it's no joke. You really do need to know that about the land. Okay, that's something that you also, um, I would want to know about some parts in the, the South, um, here in the United States, but definitely you want to know about that before you purchase. So my next tip has to do with don't purchase any land if the owner uh, does not present you with the site plan, uh, architect sketch of coordinates and how the land is divided. So that's one of the things um, I mentioned earlier about the free land is that the land has already been uh, plotted and so forth. And so it's just you going in saying, I need this, but when you survey your land, you take it to the lands commission within that district. So for example, the land that you receive in a Cebu village, you would not go across to register that land. You would register your land right there in uh, uh, Cebu, that's in the central region, okay? So that's um, a side uh, tip. It just came to my mind and I said, oh, I better bring that up. But um, yes, so you need to receive a site plan um, 
from the seller. Also, tip number three is get a qualified surveyor to survey your land. OK, just like you would here, you get someone who's qualified to do that. Uh, number four, take that survey to the Lands Commission, make sure that it matches the coordinates that are given. So when you receive your site plan from the seller, make sure that it matches what's at the Lands Commission. OK, make sure that the name on the site, uh, site of sale matches the name that's registered at the Lands Commission. And then you go to the Lands Commission, uh, like I said earlier, in the region or the district where the land is being bought or given. For instance, and I've said, uh, said that, so you know, if you're receiving it in a Cebu Village central region, that's where you need to uh, go to that Lands Commission. You won't be going to Accra. Uh, also, uh, I think this is tip five, Speak with the people in the community about land issues with the person selling the land. OK, if you feel that perhaps and there sometimes there are issues with the land. Um, I heard from many of my um, African brothers and sisters who have land uh, that there it there tends to be um, it could be problems with with the land. So you do need to do your due diligence. And uh, it's good to make connections with people who, who know. And I will um, include that information um, in, in um, the link here and, you know, when, when I'm done. But uh, yes, you want to speak to people. So the next thing has to do with um, tip number six, does the area have problems with land guards. Okay, now I don't think that you will, I, I, I can almost 100% know that you will not deal with the issue of land guards for a Cebu village project because that is closely and carefully monitored. But say you wanna make investment in other land opportunities. You need to know about land guards. Now, land guards, it's not a good thing. They are like the, they're a nuisance because um, they're like mobsters who leech off of uh, prospective purchasers. And what they do is they, they want money to guard the land and you really don't need them, but, but they're there. Um, I haven't been there, done that, but I have heard of it and it does exist. And uh, it's one of my tips that you need to know if you're gonna do investment, okay? But I don't, you won't have to worry about land guards in a Cebu village because it's a, a monitored project, okay? So that's, but if you invest, be aware. So the next tip is do not buy or receive land if there are any chief disputes. So you need to know, uh, who the paramount chief is, uh, AKA governor of that district. Uh, you need to be aware if there are any chief disputes. I, this is not a problem for the free land, but it is, uh, a, it can be problematic if you're purchasing land um, elsewhere, okay? Like I said, there's lots of opportunity in Ghana uh, to do so. Uh, Ghana is definitely on the rise, and there are lots of African Americans there already. Uh, not just African American, but from all over uh, the diaspora that are there with land purchased and successful, killing it. Okay, so um, but yeah, this is something that that you need to know. Uh, yeah, do not buy or receive land if they're chief disputes involved. So the next one I kind of mentioned early had to, earlier had to do with uh, glamacy. And um, I'm not an expert on um, this by far, but glamacy has to do where the land has been illegally mined. There are a lot of illegal gold mining that takes place in Ghana. So do not receive 
Glamacy land that has been used for illegal mining because the Glamacy, this, it damages the land and it damages the water supply. And so, uh, Glamacy is, uh, comes from the, derived from the phrase, gather them and sell. Okay. But you don't want to get that land if Glamacy has been involved. It's a, it's a illegal gold, <coughs> excuse me, illegal gold mining. And the land is usually not, it's not good and it's bad for the environment also. Uh, and it causes uh, foundational damage. So that's one reason why you don't want that type of, uh, you don't want to build on that. So the next uh, tip is find out what type of structures are going to be built on the land. Uh, what are the plans for the area? Say when you uh, go to an area and you purchase uh, want to purchase land like you may see beautiful ocean oceanfront property because it it does exist it does exist um as a matter of fact i have my eye on some in an area called uh, pram pram and pram pram is up and coming uh because a, i think an airport is being built built there but uh, a lot of people i think some people do not uh want that but anyways it i think it's a good idea um, but you know, Trump, you know, that's, that's just what I have my eye on, but, um, yeah. So you want to know what's coming because some, like I said, uh, in Pram Pram, I happen to know that an airport is coming. I'm fine with that. But if you're purchasing your land, you may not want, um, an airport near where you're purchasing, uh, or if it's some structures that are going up you may not want that. Or if it's a pig farm that's about to go next to you, you may not want that. So it's always a good idea to see, ask what might you know come here so that you don't have to deal with that. So the next tip is uh, make sure, and this is an important one, make sure the deed is signed by the seller in the right place and with a witness, okay? And if possible, have a video recording. You know, you have your cell phone, do it like that. It's not that I'm saying that, um, but business. I believe in doing business the right way. And that's just business to me. You make sure uh, that's something that you have to, like I say, connect with people there. Uh, I thank God we have friends there and people here that can kind of guide and tell us what to do. So that's why I don't mind uh, sharing with you how to do it. So, the and that's my next um, point. Do not try to navigate Africa on your own. Have a friend, okay? Make connections. Uh, it's easy to make friends. Uh, Ghanaians are very friendly, okay? Africans are very friendly on the continent. So it's very easy to make friends. Don't navigate on your own. Also, there are lots of YouTubers who are either on the continent or they're, they've been there a couple of times. And yeah, you, you want to have, you want to make the connections. Now, the next thing and the uh, final tip, if there are no questions, thank you, Jay Allen. I appreciate that, is you need to have have a registered agent, okay? I can place also, um, when this is done, there's a, a registered agent. I haven't done business with this person, but I um, like uh, his work and I also like that he, uh, his videos and so forth. And uh, he's called a Property Property Hunter, I think uh, is his name. I'll, I'll put it in my uh, description, either here or on upcoming video. DM me either at Facebook or more, okay? And I will send it to you. But um, yes, that's, that's my final, final tip that you need to have an agent. They have them um, and then that'll make it easy, okay? You have an agent, someone who knows all about this and just like we have agents here they know so that's that's the best route uh but that's when you're buying property you have different agents who only um will deal with land or do you have them only that they deal with um property and so forth but if i don't have any 
questions. Um, I thank you guys for joining me. This is my very first live stream. Um, forward to sharing um, my upcoming, I don't know when the borders will open, but as soon as they open, I'm out. <laughs> not, in a, not in a negative way, I'm out, but I just really just want to um, head on to uh, my journey that's, that's calling me to return each year. I, um, my husband and I, we go to Ghana, we do uh, business there, but we also like to travel to different countries. And this year uh, I was scheduled to go to Madagascar and um, we didn't get to go because, um, the, you know, with the COVID we have to be uh, safe now. Uh, yes, it is real. Um, but yes, I will be so happy when I can um, travel again and share all of those wonderful places and spaces that are on the continent. Um, so yes, I I'm, think I'm, I'm done. If you guys don't have any questions, I, um, I guess I will see you next time. Like I said, feel free to uh, send uh, messages to me in um, uh, either via Facebook or Instagram of some questions that you may have. Uh, I know I have an upcoming video that I want to um, share with um, another, uh, actually my niece who has traveled as well. Uh, Cause it's always good when you learn different um, people's perceptions and their travel experiences. So as I get better at this, I'll be able to do live on the spot, especially when I'm there or pop those videos up right away. Um, it's, all a, it's all a learning process for me, but I hope that um, this has been good for you and be blessed. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you next time. And please share with someone the good news about the beauty of Africa. Okay, goodbye. Be blessed.